Welcome back to the stovetop. In this video, I'm going to try out for the first time Waiakea bottled water from Hawaii. Now, what I find interesting about this water is that it's bottled in Hawaii and shipped to the mainland, but yet it's competitively priced with other bottled waters of about the same size. This bottle was about $2.20 at Speedway. I also checked for this at Walmart and it was about the same price. I didn't check any other retailers, but that's fairly competitively priced with other bottled waters in the same size container. This is a one liter clear plastic bottle that is supposed to be made out of recycled plastic. Now Waiakea water is sourced from melted snow and rainwater that's filtered through volcanic rock. And they say that some of their profits go to getting clean water to people in, in impoverished parts of the world. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and include a link to their one minute YouTube video at the end of this to give you all their public relations information. So I've never had this water before. I bought this chilled. The bottle is still cold. Let me go ahead and open it up and tell you what I think of it. Now I actually happen to be very thirsty. I, uh, I wanted to drink some water earlier, but I thought I would kind of purposely make myself thirsty for this video. It tastes like uh, other mineral waters that I've had before, spring water, that sort of thing. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not quite like distilled or purified water. I can taste a little bit of that mineral content in it, but it is refreshing. No aftertaste. Nothing like that. Uh, I would say that it's a pretty good value for what you get. Now the plastic is somewhat flexible and I've seen some other bottled waters where uh, the plastic's not really that rigid. It kind of looks blue. It looks like the plastic is, is a translucent blue, but that's actually the inside of the back label here. That's just uh, kind of the way, the way it is. It makes that, uh, that clear plastic look a little bit blue. Otherwise, though, there's a lot of information about the company on the back. Once again, this is all in their one-minute YouTube video. And it does have an expiration date. As a matter of fact, this one says that it expires in March of 2024. So it's good for almost two years. So if you happen to see this at your local gas station or grocery store or something like that, and you were wondering, what does Hawaiian water taste like? Filtered through volcanic rock? Pick yourself up a bottle. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thanks for watching.